Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Fantasy Star 4, The End of the Millennium. And when last we left off, Alice is leading Chaz and Han, who decided to tag along looking for information about Professor Holt, into the basement of the Academy. The basement of the Academy appears to be full of monsters. Monsters that we're in the process of killing. We're not going to sit on that chair, we're going to keep exploring! We're going to find more treasure chests, and we're going to find a Zoran Bolt, which looks like a nastier version of the monsters we're already fighting. But no matter! We should be able to deal with this one quite capably if we just focus our attacks on the nastier one. Boomerang away! Sword slash one. That enemy is gone, and you are also gone. Okay, the uh, foe that I thought would be more dangerous just isn't. And Chaz has leveled up and gained some stats and more hit points and more technical points. Let's have a look at these books, shall we? Look at all this dust. I can't read the titles on these books. You know we're meant to be defeating monsters, right? But I do like learning. Here, hold the antidote and stop talking about books. Oh, alright then. There are more foes for us to best, though! Another Xanafal get a Zoran Bolt. That's okay, though, we can take care of both of them. Have at thee! This combat is not particularly difficult, I imagine, because it is the initial dungeon. A sort of warm-up for the uh, mechanics of the game. Victory! And we got more Mercetas, and Han gained a level, and gained more mental, which I imagine is a sign that he uses a lot of abilities. Let us go down some more. What's this? Well, what is this? This doesn't look good at all. What is this? We've no idea, but something is going on here. And that monster may be the cause of all the other monsters. It looks quite horrifying. Let's see if we can take it on, shall we? Or maybe we can parlay with it. Um, hello? Chaz, don't talk to the monster. It's time to kill it. Boss music as we fight an Iglanova. Iglanova looks kind of nasty. Let's just attack and see what happens, shall we? One attack, two attacks, three attacks! Boomerang! 11 damage, and 19 there, and 8. And this thing seems to spit out monsters, which would go a long way to explaining as to where all the monsters in the basement are coming from. Let us try and use some of these uh, abilities, shall we? There are quite a few things here, and I have no idea what any of them do. But this one, Vortex, sounds kind of neat, so we'll use that one. We'll have you attack this monster, and we'll have you attack this monster, because I imagine if we don't do that, you'll just keep spinning them out, and then they'll start hitting us. Vortex! Boomerang of Flame! That was a lot of damage. And that, I imagine, is a move we're not going to be using that often, because uh, we only have a limited amount of uh, technical points. Let's just have you two focus on uh, this monster, because if we manage to defeat it, the attacks then move over to a different target. Nice! 17 damage and 8 damage there, and another one! The boss actually isn't attacking us, which is quite nice, because it gives us a nice, uh, easy uh, first difficult encounter. It's not difficult as long as you can uh, keep on top of all the enemies, which is what we're doing. If we didn't have Alice, this would be far harder. There we go! One attack there! Excellent! And that foe is gone. Han gets a nice hit there for seven. I think it's really Alice doing all of the uh, hard work here. It does make sense, she is uh, five levels higher than everyone else. Four damage there, Han does not have a lot of health, so we're going to have to be careful. We may have to use one of our restoration spells. I do believe uh, Chaz has it, Han may have it, who knows? Let's find out. We'll have you attack this one, and uh, you also have Restoration, which is good. We have two people that can heal. I don't think Alice can heal. A fine two hits there, and a one hit there for eight damage, as you just spit out of the monster. I mean, if you had an attack of any variety, you'd be a lot more dangerous. But I'll take an easy first boss over a difficult one. Ha-ha! You are gone. You are also not gone. Please be gone, also your eyes are glowing. I like that all the enemies are animated, it makes the uh, battle scene that much more active, considering that uh, the scenery is static. Another boomerang? And that- ooh, that was a critical hit, you could tell because the screen flashed. That was nice, I imagine we could also miss as well, and then there'll be no attack sound at all. Excellent, it seems the boomerang doesn't miss though an excellent weapon. Also, Han went before uh, Chaz there. 19 damage, not bad. 
and more attacks! More devastation is being wrought upon these monsters! Hunters, I imagine, have a never-ending job, considering uh, how many monsters- Ooh, the boss is gone! We'll just take care of this final uh, Xanafalc here, and we are done! Victory! We gained 90 XP and 76 Masetta, Chaz leveled! Marvellous, and Han leveled as well! And we learned something! What did we learn? That's what we learned! We did it! Chaz, you need more practice. Your swing is too slow. What? But we destroyed the monster! With my help. Sorry. Now, Han, come over here. What? What are these glass containers for? These... Hey, are you by any chance breeding monsters here? Oh, that would be kind of terrible if you're doing that. If that's the case, this monster business is no mystery after all. I... I don't know anything. It's the first time I've been in this room. I've only just learned that such a thing exists at the Academy. Um... Really? It's the truth. I believe you. For now. The principal must know about these containers. He must also know the connection between this and the disappearance of Professor Holt. Yes. Let's see the principal again. Come on, Chaz. Hey, don't leave me here! Don't worry, we won't leave you here. I imagine there aren't going to be any more monsters on our climb up, and this is a good opportunity to do some healing, I think. We shall uh, use some tech here. I think Harm will use uh, restoration. We'll restore your health. Res is used. Hit points fully recovered. Marvelous. And then we'll use it on Chaz. Excellent. Now you have uh, everything fully recovered. And we'll use it on Han. Note that we gained some levels, and we didn't gain uh, technical points to uh, fill up the uh, maximum that we gained. We'll have to fill that up another time, probably by resting, or restorative items. There's nothing more we can do here, though. We're just gonna have to leave. Wait, there are monsters! I thought there wouldn't be! Let's have a fight, shall we? A quick fight to finish off this basement. Aha! You haven't gained any levels yet, probably because you have a lot of XP. Nice going! We didn't even get hit. We'd have gained some more money, though. How much money do we have? 801. Marvellous. Does anyone react to the fact that we have defeated these, uh, monsters? Let's have a conversation with somebody and find out. Like with you! Has your dialogue changed? Han, what are you doing in the company of those uncivilized animals? What a jerk. Maybe I'll have a little fun with him. Ah, uh, please put that away! Oh, Han. You are in our company now. You are a hunter! I'm not a hunter! No, you're effectively a hunter now. I'm studying history. Ah, uh, we've already had this conversation. It's nice, though, that there are some changes that happen, depending upon, uh, your- Oh, New dialogue here! Don't blame him. Recently, the rate of environmental degradation has increased. I like that there are new interactions, considering that we have Han with us. Let's see if there are any more of them, like with you! That's not with you, that's actually uh, looking at the air. You've exterminated the monsters? What a relief! No problem, all the day's work for a hunter. And we'll see if you have any new dialogue. It's nice that there are these little things that have been added. And... Uh, nope, no interactions there. I imagine there'll be none also with you. So we're just going to head up and go and see the principal. After, of course, having conversations with everyone! Like you. If you're looking for the principal's room, ah, we've already found it. That's okay, we've already found the principal's room. Let's actually just go and meet the principal, and make him confess to what he knows. Hello, you! Um, hello. We have things to talk about. Wh what's wrong? You seem upset. Were you able to defeat those monsters? Yes, but there is something I want to ask you. What? Is it just my imagination that I saw some strange things in the basement? Ah. Uh, stop beating around the bush. Alice takes no prisoners here. Look at that smile. That's the smile of, if you don't tell me what I want to know, I'm going to get mean. I may scowl at you. Someone keeping information from me is the sixth most dangerous thing in this world. What's the fifth and fourth and third and second and first? Oh, you really don't want to know. All right already. I'll tell you what I know. You are aware of the recent outbreak of a new breed of monster? 
Oh yes, thanks to the outbreak, I'm not hurting for work. Three months ago, Holt identified Birth Valley as the origin of the outbreak, and he went to investigate. He says you discovered the remains of an ancient and advanced civilization. This does not surprise me at all, especially considering the fact that we have the information that society collapsed thousands of years ago. It's more likely the remnants of a civilization that this planet used to have. The investigation team brought back the monster breeding capsules and immediately set forth on their second investigative mission. But not one of them came back. Yes, that's right, Han. And despite all this, you didn't send out a rescue team and banned entry to Birth Valley! No, no! I... I was trying to send out a rescue team, but... Something happened? At that moment, a man who called himself Zeo appeared before my eyes. Okay, that's not in the least bit suspicious to you, that somebody called Zeo just communicated to you through some sort of magic? That's... Very suspicious. I wouldn't trust somebody who does that who's called Zeo. You know, just a hunch. Sounds like a villain to me. Zeo. I've heard of him. That fake magician. Ah, my dear principal of Matavia Academy. How are you doing? Please ignore the fact that my outfit not only looks incredibly evil, but also has ridiculously huge shoulder pads. I am definitely not evil. But your eyes are glowing red in that picture. I am not evil. Who... who are you? My name is Zeo. Zeo the Black Magician. Are you sure you're not evil? Look, I'm not evil! Do not intrude on Birth Valley. What do you mean? In the future, if you ever let anyone set foot in Birth Valley... Ah! Oh dear, I think that person has been turned to stone. Let me make something clear. There is no need for you to go to Birth Valley. It's related to the research team. So that's why the Birth Valley situation wasn't announced, and also why you tried to keep a lid on the monster situation. But what is all this about? Remains of an ancient advanced civilization and Zeo? It seems like these are signs of something to come. I need to help the professor. I'm going to Birth Valley. Psst. Han. This is egg-laying season for sandworms, so be careful. Uh, Alice? We'll tag along for 300 meseta plus expenses. Oh, Alice! Always looking out for your back pocket! Uh, deal! Birth Valley is to the northeast. Let's hurry. And off we go! So long, Professor! Here's a piece of advice for you. If somebody called Zeo just communicates to you in your dreams, don't just listen to him! Are you going, Han? Oh yes, he's coming with us. We are on our way to Birth Valley. It sounds like a dangerous, dangerous place. So why not go? What's the worst that could happen? Let us leave, but first, let us look around here and talk to everybody outside the Academy. Look, there's an inn. We could rest there. Now that I look back, I wonder if there was some connection between that parcel and the monsters. What parcel? We may never know. We're still all right here, but apparently the wells are all dried up in the village of Mile. I'm sure we'll be going there at some point. Hello, you! You're standing on all the plants here. That's quite rude. Then again, we're now also standing on all the plants. Before we talk to you, let's talk amongst the party. Earth Valley is located northeast of Piata. Let's hurry and go to the Professor's rescue. Ah, Zio. I don't like the sound of that. Neither do I, Alice. I heard some students jumped into this fountain the other day. I can't believe I missed all the fun. You should take a dip. It'll do you good. I think we'll pass. Our metal armor would likely rust. My parents live in Mile, a village northeast of here. Recently, I haven't been getting my allowance. I wonder if they've forgotten me. Oh well, I better find a job. Becoming a hunter. Now that sounds exciting. And dangerous. Don't forget the dangerous part. Apparently, the monsters aren't appearing in town anymore. Thank goodness for that! That may have been our doing. Really? Thank goodness for that! Ah, hello you! You're hiding over here! What are you hiding? I heard those monsters were conquered by some hunter whose name I've forgotten. It was me. It was literally me. I did it. I'm right here. What was their name? Oh, forget it. And I want to actually have a look at this here. 
It's a ventilated case for meteorological instruments. How many of them are there? Probably a lot. Let's go into this building and say hello to everyone. You have a nice house. The academy students are so noisy day in and day out, like the other day when a group of them jumped into that fountain. What a scene! Don't they think about being considerate to others? I wish something could be done about them. Maybe they died to the monsters, though it's not likely. It's not nice to open cabinets in other people's houses without their permission. I don't think we're going to get her permission, but we'll try open this one. And Chaz is deciding not to uh, want to open them. You were fine with opening them in the academy, Chaz. What's changed? What has changed? Here's a big house. Let's go into here and talk to you. Hello. Now I can let my children go out to play. No problem. All in a day's work. Let's read your books. Wow, amazing. These are all infant rearing books. What about these ones? They're also infant rearing books. Let's talk to the child. Now that no monsters come out, it's no fun to sneak out in the middle of the night. You mean to tell me that you were actively looking for things to be scared by? I'm surprised you're still alive. I really am. Then again, those monsters weren't that deadly, but we are hunters and Alice is level 7. Have we been in this building? No, we also haven't talked to that guy over there. Hello? These are the student dorms of Matavia Academy. Me? I'm the caretaker. Why are you ignoring me? Because you're not important. I've got a report to you tomorrow, but I haven't written a word of it. Oh, you're so doomed. Let's have a look in here. It's not nice to open cabinets. Yes, we know, Chaz, it's not nice. Not one of these books is a school book. That does not surprise me. And we can't look at that. There's nothing there indeed, Alice. Let's go into this room. There's somebody here. Hello. It's so much fun lazing around than going to class. I'm going to fail! And not one of these books is a school book either. There's something on the wall there, though. We definitely want to go and have a look at that. Look at everything! It's a class schedule. It's rather light. Let's go and talk to you! So many people to talk to in towns. I'm sure Alice is not exactly thrilled about this, but then again, we have been paid already. So, I suppose it doesn't hurt. The girl next door has been influenced by some strange religion. She's been missing for a while. Where did she go? That's not at all ominous. That's completely ominous. Let's talk to you. Hey, I'm undressing. Get out! Get out! All right, then. We'll leave. Sorry. We'll just go this way and out. And we'll talk to you over here. Hello. What's with you guys? You're being way too friendly. I'm sorry that being friendly is so bad. Let's go into the inn, shall we? Is there anyone in the inn to talk to? No, how many beds are there? There are five beds. That is attention to detail, just in case we came back here with a full party. Welcome, this is the inn. 15 Masetta, would you care to stay? Of course, please have a relaxing stay. Thank you very much, please come again. Did we actually sleep? It doesn't matter. Our health is fully restored. Let's go. Let us go into the item shop and see what is there. Hello! Can we read this? Mailboxes. Nothing for us here. Not surprising. Welcome! This is the tool store. Weren't you just in the inn? Yes, I run both businesses at once. What if somebody was in the inn and here? Well... I couldn't physically exist in two places, so I'd have to close one of them while I was dealing with the other person. You only have monomate here. We do not want monomate. What we want to do is we want to leave. Then again, maybe we do want some monomate. We probably don't actually have that many. So uh, let's have a look at our items. Yeah, we have one monomate. It might actually be a good idea to buy a couple. Just in case. There are only 20. Monomate, is that what you want? Well, I hope so. It's the only item you have. Thank you very much. Anything else? We have to buy them one at a time, I see. Okay, we'll buy a couple. Until we are down to uh, just over a thousand mesetas. There we go. Now we have five healing potions and one antidote. Always a good thing. And so, when we come back, folks, Alice, Chaz, and Han will head over to Birth Valley. And from there, they will try and find Professor Holt. After hearing about the warning from Zeo, the fake magician, 
He's such a faker, that CO. I'm sure we'll never encounter him in the future. We're totally going to encounter him in the future, aren't we? Oh, yes, we are. He sounds like a villain. He dresses like a villain. And he gives ominous warnings like a villain. Suffice to say, he's definitely a villain. The final villain? Who can say? We'll find out soon enough as we go to Birth Valley. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.